Hello friends, today we are going to see how to SSH into GCP virtual machine. We will see it how to do that from your local machine, not from the, the, the cloud shell because there are times when you want to do it from your local machine and not from the cloud shell. So let's see how to do that. For this, we are going to start the demo from the scratch. We are going to create the project. We are going to set up the SSH and you know, there are multiple ways to do this, multiple ways to create the keys and everything. So let's let's get our hands dirty and see how this is whole thing is done. So I'm gonna create a project. I'm gonna name it how to SSH and I'm gonna click on create. So let's just wait for the project to finish creating looks like it's done and let's go to the project now let's come to compute engine when you come to the compute engine first time it takes a while for it to get ready but while this is happening let's see what we are going to do so what we are going to do is we come to metadata over here and we are going to add the ssh keys over here so when you come to metadata you have two options either you can add the metadata or you can add the SSH keys now the difference is the SSH keys that you create here these are called project-wide SSH keys means any SSH key that you create here and there is an option when you create the virtual machine that when you when you create the virtual machine you select the checkbox say checkbox saying allow project-wide SSH key access when you do that then all the SSH keys that you created here all those users they will be able to SSH into your virtual machine so there is like a project-wide SSH keys then there is another way of doing it is you create SSH key for that particular virtual machine so the keys that you created at the project-wide will not be able to you know SSH into that virtual machine if you uncheck that box and we will see what that checkbox is what it looks like but this was just some additional information I wanted to give you so let's just wait for this to finish and then we will start again perfect so now we have the virtual machine API initialized so let's go and create the SSH keys so before we add the SSH keys we need to create the SSH keys so we are going to create two SSH keys one key is for the project wide user and another key we are going to create is for 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 a local user for restricted user so I have two commands here I'm going to copy this command and I'm going to paste it here where I want to create the keys so I'm gonna say I'm gonna create it here slash my awesome project wide user that's how the key will be created no, no. perfect so let's look at this so you get two keys one private key this is a public key now the public key is with the extension dot pub now let's execute the same command again but with a different user we are going to call this my awesome local user and press enter where i want to create this key i want to create it in the same directory where i created this from here slash my awesome local user no pass please perfect now see what happened so we have two keys four files when one, one key is for the local user public key and private key another key is for the project wide user public key and private key now let's go ahead and add these keys to the console now remember you don't want to create your 
your, you don't want to enter your private key here you want to enter your public SSH key it, it specifically says it here enter public SSH key so we are gonna say cat my awesome project wide user dot pub and we take this and copy that and we paste it here we paste it here it will tell you what the username looks like and we go ahead and we say save perfect so there was the first thing now second thing is about security now you don't want anybody to go and SSH into your into your system I mean I understand we are doing this for a demo but it's still you know it's something that you should even not do it when you're doing the demo or just trying to learn right so let's go and see what happens here so for this you're gonna come to VPC and we will come to firewall rules what we'll do is we will get rid of all these four we will start from the scratch okay? so we know what to do here perfect so while it's getting rid of all these keys we're gonna go ahead and create here and we're gonna say uh, the name it should be lowercase numbers hyphens allowed you know so we will just say you know allow SSH from my home IP okay. description uh, allow SSH from my home IP address logs just keep it off we are going to apply this to all the instances that we create in the default VPC priority we are going to leave it as is ingress allow perfect targets we are going to set targets is all the instances in the network we can apply this rule to specific virtual machines but for now we are just going to apply this rule to all the virtual machines that we create in the default network source filter IP ranges so which these IP ranges are the range from where you want to SSH so you don't want to put 0 .0 .0 0.0.0.0 slash 0 this means that anybody from anywhere can SSH into your system you you, you definitely don't want to do that what you want to do is you want to restrict this so if you are working for an enterprise you want to restrict this to the IP addresses that are given to you by your network administrator so that you know you can restrict that or when you are just learning it doing it from your home you want to put your home IP address public IP address in here so you will get rid of it and you will come here and we will say uh, what is my IP we will take it copy it and paste it here and we'll say slash 32 it means only one virtual machine only one machine which has this IP address this IP address can change at some point of time it will change it's not gonna remain static but for now it will not be assigned to anybody else because I am assigned to the, this IP address so I'm gonna say only I can SSH into this system and specified protocols will be TCP I'll just say 22 I don't want any other port right? and I will go ahead and say create this will take a couple of seconds perfect it got created now we are all good and we can go ahead and create a virtual machine so we come here and we say compute engine and we say create a compute engine create a virtual machine instance one is good we're gonna leave the region and everything as is uh, machine type is good all I'm gonna do is change this from Debian to Ubuntu uh, 10 gig 16 is good and I'm not gonna change anything because what remember what we said is allow SSH from only my IP address right so we will just leave everything as is and we will go ahead and we will say create perfect this is pretty fast it should be done in about 10 seconds
perfect so the virtual machine is created this is the external IP address of that virtual machine so I'm gonna copy this and I'm gonna come here I'm gonna clear this and I'm gonna say show me what you got All right I'm gonna say SSH minus I I want to show it for I want to SSH from my project wide user remember I haven't done anything for the local user I just just created it without making any changes and I want to use it with my public key and I'll come here and I'll say my external IP at my username so my user is technically the same thing at this IP address enter it yes perfect now I am in site my instance one and I have done this with my project wide SSH key not from the local key now let's see that what 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 does it look like so if I scroll down here after I click on the instance name I scroll down here and you see this setting here which says SSH keys right? Uh, block project wide SSH keys because we did not select this box all the SSH keys that we created in the metadata will be able to access this virtual machine let's fix that. okay now we are gonna see how to do the same thing but instead of doing it with the project wide user I'm gonna create it with the local user let's see how to do that so I'm gonna say create an instance similar way the way I did it instance 2 just change the operating system from Debian to Ubuntu uh, 10 gig is good click on select scroll down and expand this tab here come to security here you can say block project wide SSH key and only and allow this public SSH key to SSH into this system so if I look at this I have my local user dot pub so I'm gonna say cat my local user pub I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna copy that and I'm gonna paste it here I'm gonna say create perfect now let the instance get created shouldn't take more than a couple of seconds perfect so the instance is created this is the external IP of this particular instance so SSH minus I my awesome local user my awesome local user at this particular IP address and press enter and it don't work perfect it's working just took a while to figure it out but you can see now I am inside the instance too now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to log in to this system from my project wide SSH key let's see what happens SSH minus I my awesome project wide user my awesome project wide user at this IP address I say enter and it's gonna tell me permission denied because the public key is not allowed now let's fix that technically this is what we wanted to do but let's see if some at some point of time we change our mind and we are like nope we want to allow project wide SSH user to be able to SSH into this we just need to come here and change the uncheck this box so we click on edit and we say allow project wide SSH keys as well so you still have access with the local user 
but you also will be able to SSH into this machine from your project wide key. Click on save. Give it just a second while it saves. Perfect. It's done. Let's see if we can run this command again. And perfect. We are in it. We are in instance 2. And if you look at it, we are we SSH into it with the project wide user and we are still able to SSH into this with the local user so that's it for the demo pretty short pretty simple very straightforward uh, let me know how you like it and happy Google cloud thank you very much bye, -bye.